Hi, this is Steve Sullivan with Crafty Shipping. I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to the Amazon FBA prep video that I made about a month ago because within about a week of the time I posted that video, uh, Amazon Seller Central kind of retooled the way that uh, you can prep uh, inventory that you're going to be sending to them on their platform and it actually made it a lot easier to get um, inventory created and ready to send to them and ready to send to them so I just wanted to show uh, what this new process looks like and use some uh, a live demo just to walk you through the process of what that looks like so I'm going to be sending more of this item here, the 12 ounce bottle inserts, and I'm going to select the send and replenish option. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the of the new layout um, and it basically has all of the information on one page so you're not clicking through uh, multiple pages where you're filling out all the things you're sending on one page filling out the different dimensions of those products on another page and it, it everything is is here and there are these nice templates um, you can create case pack templates. Uh, I've sent this inventory before, so I already have this one queued up that I'm going to be sending for. Uh, I'm going to be sending cases with 425 packs. So that's already there. I know I want to send it. It has that information saved already. Uh, so four items per box. The, I've, I've already pre-selected because from this template that these units are going to be labeled when they arrive at Amazon and my warehouse when they're produced in these 25 packs. They, um, they band them together in a way that no additional prep is required when they arrive at the FBA facility. So I just need to enter the number of cases that I'm going to be sending which is 10 and Amazon automatically just adds that total up. Um, it's technically it's not ready to send yet, but uh, later in this page, you can have the pickup schedule to send. I'm recording this on a Monday evening. I'll have it ready to send on a Thursday, but I just click ready to send and it shows me the prep fees 12 bucks great um, for the 40 units and I just click confirm and continue uh, so the other item that I have eligible to send to Amazon are these these larger insert sizes I'm not going to send any right now um, I don't need to at the moment um so you can just you can do one at a time you can do multiple different listings but we'll just keep it simple here and then here's where you can select the ship date so i'm going to select the uh, this thursday as a ship date um, usually it's eligible for an Amazon partnered carrier, but it looks like it wants to send these to a, it looks like one of the options is to send it to a facility in Virginia. Um, I don't know. It's kind of far. I mean, it looks like they're only giving me the option to send this to a facility in Virginia, which kind of sucks. 
Um, all right, so let's back up a second. Typically, I've been able to send this inventory uh, with Amazon to a facility in California. My warehouse is currently in California, so when I've used their small parcel delivery in the past, um, the, the cost to ship these cases is generally pretty low. I mean, still $23 per case to send these to, um, to a facility in, um, in Virginia is on the less expensive side, but still 20, 230 bucks. Uh, and the, the downside of shipping with, with an LTL carrier is that it's so slow. It is such a slow process. Oh my God, is it slow? Partner carriers, it feels like they take forever to deliver to an Amazon warehouse. Um, it's not just like the time it takes to get to their facility, but like once that pallet gets unloaded, it just takes, it feels like it takes way longer to get checked in. So right now I'm like, do I want this LTL shipment to take like a month to get checked in at Amazon? Or do I just want UPS to get it there quickly, especially since it's going further and actually have it checked in in a reasonable time? Um, I think the value of actually getting it to a facility faster and have this stuff ready to sell sooner rather than later. The value is kind of outweighed with the speed here um, as opposed to the LTL shipment. I'll keep this in mind for next time. Um, I'd rather have this inventory available sooner rather than later. So I'm going to, I will, I'll plan ahead next time, but for now we're, we're going to go with the small parcel option. I just wish I could deliver these things to my typical warehouse in California, but um, Amazon really doesn't give you that option sometimes, which sucks. Okay. Um, So yeah, accept the charges. God, that's so expensive though. Oh my God. Do I even wanna do that? Here's the thing. Sometimes Amazon can, depending on where your inventory is stored, they can come back and tell you like, actually like, all right, this might be interesting. If I was to create this shipment tomorrow, would they still have Virginia selected as my fulfillment center of choice? I don't know. It might switch back to it might switch back to California, which would be ideal because Virginia is so far. Uh, and it's not like it's going to get there quickly anyway. They're just getting shipped across the country. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to try coming back tomorrow and seeing if this is different. You know, if it is, I'll just I'll just say fuck it and I'll ship it. Like the, if I'm going to ship LTL, I might as well have a full pallet, which means I don't need to have these bundled in cases. Anyways, too much information. You guys don't need to know all that. But what what I think is valuable here is just to know like, well, let's go back. Let's, 
Let's go back. Let's edit this. Let's start new. All right, instead of 10, let's say I wanna send six. I'll confirm. I'll say it's ready to ship this Thursday. God, it still wants me to go to Virginia. That's so annoying. It's so far away. I think part of this has to do with the fact that I still have I still have some inventory at another facility. I'll, I'm going to give this a day because I'd rather, I'd really like to not have to pay to ship this to Virginia. Whether it's a, a pallet or whether it's a pallet or like a small parcel, that's that's just getting that's just getting expensive there. If I do have to ship to Virginia, I'll just send a little bit just so I have something inbound. But but yeah, that's way too much. It's more than I would like to pay. Um, because yeah, that that shipping cost just kind of chews away at the margins. All right, well. This was interesting and hopefully I'll be able to use some of this recording and we'll check in tomorrow to see if Amazon changes its mind about where I can send my product. Hey, this is Steve Sullivan with Crafty Shipping. Wanted to do a follow-up video to the, the one I had tried making a couple days earlier. I'm recording this on uh, Sunday, April 4th, and I had taken a pause from my previous prep video because um, one, Amazon was only giving me options for small parcel delivery to a warehouse in Virginia and shipping small parcel to Virginia from my warehouse in uh, Southern California was two hundred and thirty dollars um and the other option was the ltl shipping for about 110 and neither of those options really sounded great to me because um the small parcel one was more expensive and ltl shipping to to virginia from california would have probably taken a really long time so what I decided to do was wait a couple days, let some of my my inventory kind of get sold through a little bit more. There are a, a few more sales but in, over the past, I think, four days since I tried recording this. Um, and the update is that, you know, I'm still sending the same 10 boxes before, but now that, uh, now that um, now that a little bit of time has passed, some extra inventory has been sold through. I can now, I, I literally clicked start a new plan. Um, and when it, when I entered this new information here to send the same cases, it finally gave me the option to send it to the warehouse. I usually send inventory to in Stockton, California. So. That's what I originally wanted to do this whole time. And just to show you, this, this workflow is pretty quick. They, I've got 10 cases that I'm gonna be shipping. Um, and really all, all this looks good to me. You know, it's gonna be $100 to ship 10 cases, that's fine. The LTL shipping is $5 less, but it takes twice as long so I'm not even going to bother with that. Um, and the 
this all looks good to me. I, I just accept these charges. Takes a few seconds. They're thinking like, huh, you could have uh, sent these to Virginia, but, but no, you waited. And the next thing I'm going to do is print up these labels. Um, well, not print them, but uh, save them, send them to my to my warehouse for them to do their FBA prep. I'm going to include a work order as well. I've I've sent this work order to them before, so they know how to do the FBA prep for me. Um, and then once it's ready, they'll they have a routine UPS. Uh, pickup that happens at their warehouse. They'll pick it up on Wednesday and have it shipped off to Amazon and it'll arrive the following week. So a much easier process, uh, less time consuming obviously. And I think the next thing I want to do at least for a, a more complete video is actually do an LTL shipment to show what that looks like. It's a very similar process. It's just Essentially, the labels they give you are a little bit different. Um, and, you know, since you're paying for one pallet at a time, it's, it's advantageous to really have a full pallet if you're sending inventory to Amazon that way. Um, if you're not sending a lot of inventory for a particular item, it makes more sense to send these cases if you're sending like two or three or four, or in my case, ten. Um, which would still be like two thirds of a pallet. Um, I'm a fan of just shipping with with UPS because it it's faster. The check in process is faster. All around, it's it's just my preferred way to go. If um, if especially for time, like if you have time to plan it out and you're sending full pallets, do that uh, because generally shipping LTL with Amazon partner carriers is going to be less expensive. Um, but uh, if time is of the essence, then I'd say shipping with UPS as a partner carrier is the way to go. All right. Thanks for watching.